Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. In this video, we're going to be installing a PVC SDR35 downspout drain. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get this accordion pipe out of here. But this is actually the perfect use for this cheap accordion pipe is to be a temporary solution until you can actually have a proper drainage system installed underground with high quality pipe. Once this accordion pipe is no longer needed, you just throw it away and get rid of it. But I would never recommend burying this accordion pipe because this stuff is so flimsy and it deteriorates so quickly, it's not even funny. So you do not want to ever bury that pipe for a permanent drainage system. You always want to make sure that you use a high quality pipe whenever you are going to be burying it in the ground and using it for your exterior drainage system. Because that pipe is going to be important. It's going to be used for carrying the water away from your house, away from the home's foundation to avoid water damage. So whatever pipe you use, whether it's corrugated or PVC, you want to make sure that it's a high quality pipe. Now in the back here, we have about 10 to 15 feet of concrete that we do need to cut through. And we actually are not going to be pouring the concrete back on this particular project. The reason for this is because a wooden deck is actually going to be installed over our pipe but we do need to cut that concrete so that pipe can be sunk down low enough in order for that wood deck to go over it now for this particular project we chose to use a smooth interior pipe so we went ahead and we used pvc sdr 35 the client also wanted to use pvc so of course we will install that for him we install corrugated systems pvc systems dual wall systems it doesn't matter we install the pipe now, every time we're working with PVC, we always want to make sure that we measure twice and cut once. And we also want to make sure that we mark all of our joints with a marker. The reason for this is because we want our angles to these joints on our pipe to be correct before we start priming and solvent welding these joints together. We do not want to mess up a joint or mess up a cut on a pipe for the length of that pipe. We don't want to mess any of that up because PVC is more expensive. You know, SDR 35 pipe and the fittings for it are a lot more expensive than using a corrugated system. At least for us here in Florida, it's, it's a lot more expensive and it's more time consuming and labor intensive to work with. So I'd rather make one cut than to mess up and have to make multiple cuts, which means more labor, more time on my knees, bent over, hurting my back. You get the gist. And we don't want to mess up the glue joints because then that's a waste of a fitting that we have to throw away. Unlike corrugated pipe, if you pop a corrugated fitting together, you can adjust that fitting, tile tape it up. And let's just say you tile tape it up incorrectly. Worst case scenario, you have to cut the tile tape and re-tile tape it. It's not glued where you lose the entire fitting. So there's pros and cons to working with either pipe. So we we install both it doesn't matter to us down here in florida as long as it's a good quality pipe so this particular run has three downspouts on it it starts with a downspout and ends with a downspout we're going to be using y connections to drop our downspouts into it that way you get a nice swoop so water can easily travel through there and does not want to backflow or get hung up. We are also going to be putting leaf filters on all of these downspouts because there is no leaf guard at the top of the gutter. We will be putting a leaf filter clean out on each one of those as an access point as well. Now this will discharge down to the road. There is no sidewalk, so we do not have to worry about going under a sidewalk or stopping before the sidewalk, depending on the municipality or if it's an HOA controlled community that is in charge of the sidewalks on the roads, we don't have to get their permission. So this particular job, we are going to take it to the street and discharge it. And it's discharged roughly three feet from the street. That way it does give it a little bit of buffer room for that water to perk before it hits the street curb. So if you need drainage in the Tampa Bay area, whether it's downspout drains, French drains, channel drains, give Stormwater Drainage Solutions a call at 813-614-3456. We can come out there, assess the situation, and help design a system that fits your needs. As you can see, we got the job completely finished up. Now we aren't putting all the pavers back because this client was actually going to have a paver guy come in here and remove all of these pavers and redo the entire thing. So 
fortunate for us we didn't have to put the pavers back so that's always nice as you can see we have the garden hose running in the very beginning of the run on that first downspout and the water is traveling out very nicely through our pop-up emitter i hope you enjoyed this video and you gained some knowledge from watching it and if you did give us a thumbs up it really supports us it supports the channel we're trying to teach you guys everything that we have learned from doing this type of work out in the field if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and i will do my best to get to them and answer them and until next time this is swds signing off